Hello students, welcome to another science online class. Our topic for today is introduction to chemical nomenclature. We will continue our discussion in terms of naming compounds. Acids are molecular compounds that release hydrogen ions. A binary acid consists of hydrogen and one other element. The name of the acid is based on the an ion attached to the hydrogen. In naming acidic compounds, we put hydro as the prefix, followed by the root word of the nonmetal, and IC as suffix, followed by the word acid. These are some examples of simple acids. An ion, fluoride. The corresponding acid is hydrochloric acid. Chloride, hydrochloric acid. Bromide, hydrobromic acid. Iodide, hydroiodic acid. Cyanide, hydrocyanic acid. Sulfide, hydrosulfuric acid. Now, let's discuss the ternary compounds. Ions can be cations, positive sign, and an ion, negative sign. Most ternary compounds have oxygen. These are some suffix corresponding to ternary compounds. APE corresponds to the higher subscript, while ITE corresponds to the lower subscript. Oxy acids, on the other hand, contain hydrogen, oxygen, and one other element. The name of the acid is based on the anion attached to the hydrogen, meaning the suffix that we will use is depends on the oxygen if it's higher or lower. The higher oxygen has the suffix of IC. And lower oxygen has the suffix of O-U-S. Examples are nitric acid, sulfuric acid, nitrous acid, sulfuric acid, and sulfurous acid, carbonic acid. These are some examples of oxoacids and oxoanions that contain chlorine. We have perchloric acid with an ion of perchlorate, chloric acid with an ion of chlorate, chlorous acid with an ion of chloride, and hypochlorous acid with an ion of hypochlorite. Now, let's proceed to naming base compounds. The simplest way to define a base is the presence of an ionic compound that produces hydroxide ions when it dissolves in water. Since they all contain the OH anion, names of bases end in hydroxide. Examples are sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and barium hydroxide. Now let's discuss about hydrates. In order to properly name a hydrate, first you give the name of the salt. The second part of the name begins with a prefix. Prefix is determined by the number of water molecule in the hydrate, which is itself determined by the salt. Then add the word hydrate to the prefix and give the complete hydrate name. Examples are 